Upon you a day, his heart you've captured, the same heart he leaves beside you, and returns with your absence pains whilst your presence by angels nurtured as beneath your dust sleeps heroes immortals martyred who in your absence cannot cry you are Karbala you are Karbala Brothers and sisters, Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Salamu alayka ya Sayyidi wa Mawlai, ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Sayyidi wa Mawlai, ya Abel Fadl Abbas. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the first show of our Sha'ban series, inshallah. My name is Sayyid Haider Jizani, and um, I am from London. I have arrived um, back home yesterday, alhamdulillah wa shukur. And um, inshallah, I will be with you for the first 15 days of Sha'ban all the way until the birth of the awaited Imam, Imam Mehdi. Um, and inshallah, I will be sharing with you the atmosphere of Karbala to the comfort of your own home, inshallah. And uh, I'll be joined with a few guests uh, will be joining us, inshallah, within the show. And um, I will have reports of us going out, speaking to people with the servants of Imam Hussein. Alhamdulillah, shukur. I arrived yesterday um, at about six in the morning and I haven't been to Karbala since um, last year Sha'ban I was here Alhamdulillah I was blessed with the opportunity to be here again this year and as soon as I landed I felt as if a feeling that you've never felt before and this is not because I am from this country and I've, I've, um, I've grew up myself in the West but only because as soon as you land into this blessed country, you feel the spirits of your Imams um, all around you. And, and alhamdulillah, shukr, being here in these seasons um, and in this, these kind of days, the blessed days where all the heroes of Karbala are born, it's a true, true blessed feeling, alhamdulillah. And inshallah, within the next upcoming days, it will get busier. Um, as we speak now, the, busies are, the, the, the airports are very busy and there's a lot of people coming from abroad, inshallah. 
inshallah we'll be we'll be I'll be given a few um teachings that we've learned from the Mawla Imam Hussein inshallah within the upcoming um, programs and also I'll be speaking to different guests inshallah and I'll be speaking to the servants and the visitors that come from um, from all the way from outside of Karbala from all the all over the world we have a lot of people who are here um, I've seen a lot of different people since I've got here and um, a lot of them are not actually um, people who live inside Karbala I've seen people from um, Pakistan, brothers from Pakistan, um, brothers from Iran, and um, from from England, from America. Everyone has come for these for these beautiful days, inshallah. And um, I mean that the Hadra. I went this morning to the Hadra, and Subhanallah, the feeling inside there you can feel everyone's love, which is beautiful. And whoever has the chance to um, make it and come to Karbala. The biggest advice I can give is come down and, and share your love also with the people of Imam Hussein, with the people of Karbala, with the people um, that come all the way to here to show their love, inshallah. Alhamdulillah wa shukr, I have been blessed also to um, recite in a, in, in a few majalis that we have here. And um, there will be a blood donation campaign held also after tomorrow. Um, noon, inshallah, and we'll be capturing um, the footage that will be there, inshallah, interviewing the donors um, who are donating blood, and um, inshallah, we'll be speaking to them and giving them their views and opinions about why they're giving out blood in such days and why um, have they distanced themselves all the way from their homes to come to Karbala and join us in these beautiful days. I am, I, since a young age, my dream is uh, to become amongst the servants of Imam Hussein. And um, alhamdulillah, shukur, I would hope to be blessed by giving that name as a servant to Imam Hussein. But there's a few issues for you to, to look upon yourself before calling yourself a servant of Imam Hussein. And some of these are having the correct um, near your intentions upon Imam Hussein. And inshallah, we'll be joined soon, inshallah, after the break. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaykum, ya Sayyidi wa Mawlai, ya Aba Abdullah al-Hussein, wa ala al-arwah al-lati halat bi finaik. Assalamu alaykum, ya Aba al-Fadl al-Abbas, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, join me. Exclusive on Imam Hussein TV, live in Karbala, inshallah, where I'll be sharing the atmosphere of Karbala during Sha'ban in the comfort of your own homes. Brothers and sisters, as you can see, the atmosphere in Karbala is slowly changing as we're coming close to the birth of our awaited Imam, Imam Mahdi, Ajalallah Ta'ala, Farajah al Karim, which is the 15th of Sha'ban. As you can see right now, um, Karbala is slowly, the visitors are coming uh, very slowly, and inshallah, as we go through um, uh, towards the 5th and 6th of Sha'ban, inshallah Karbala will have all the mawakib set up. All the mawakib are slowly getting ready to um, set up their stalls to serve the visitors of Abba Abdullah al Hussein, inshallah. And all the visitors are slowly coming, the airports are packed, and um, inshallah within the next few days. Karbala will be um, as, as, as busy as it is in Arba'in, mashallah. And inshallah, all the visitors will be coming um, towards the 5th and 6th of Sha'ban. And by the 15th of Sha'ban is when is the main day, which is the, the, the birth of our awaited Imam, inshallah. And all the mawakib will be already ready, serving food and drinks and sweets. And inshallah, there'll be many majalises on the road um, celebrating the birth of the heroes of Karbala. Brothers and sisters, the vibe in Karbala is slowly changing, inshallah, as we come close to uh, the birth of our awaited Imam, Imam Mahdi, Ajalallah Farajah al Kareem. And uh, as we come close to 15th of Sha'ban, um, all the mawakib are slowly getting ready. I have just left the shrine of Abil Fadl Abbas and walking towards the shrine of Imam Hussein. As you can see, everyone is um, doing the same, inshallah. And as we are coming closer, to uh, 15th of Sha'ban, more and more visitors will be coming. Um, hence, why all the mawakib are slowly getting ready from now to set up their set up their stalls to serve 
all the visitors of Imam Hussein, inshallah, and Abu Fadl Abbas, a short poem written by my dear brother Nouri Sardar about Karbala. A beauty that embarrasses all beauty. I see the most beautiful eye for you cries. I see that your touch, it can be pierced hearts of stones and leave the hardest heart with tears in its eyes. And leave the hardest hearts with tears in its eyes. If Zuleikha lived and she saw your beauty, I'd see she who ran for Yusuf from you shies. Don't ever let Mecca set her eyes on you. She'll forget that the Kaaba on her land lies. She'll forget that the Kaaba on her land lies. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters once again. My name is Haider Jizani, live from Karbala once again. And inshallah, join me for the upcoming programs, inshallah, where I'll go more in depth of the teachings of Imam Hussein um, live on Imam Hussein TV uh, 3. Of course, the service that we do, we owe it all to our children who are being raised in the West. It's very, very important to take care of our children who are being raised in the West as there's a lot of things that could draw their attention. Not only, look, anywhere you go in the West, you can go to school, your attention could be drawn outside in the public. We must have programs for these youth, for them to attend, for them to be with us always and carry on this service from gene to gene, from generation to generation, inshallah. And of course, it's by your duty to stand up to any oppression that happens within um, these westernized countries. And you can you do whatever you need to do to please your imam as long as the, the country that you live in are okay with it. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the narrations that Imam Hussein actually said to his companions before they left to Karbala is to live with an oppressor is a crime within itself. Meaning, if you have a person who is oppressor in your country, who does not give you your rights to um, practice your religious needs, who does not give you your rights to a person who you are, who does not give a rights to the children to learn, you have to stand against that. And by, by me saying that is to carry on with your religious acts. Go to the mosques, go to, go to the majalis, which is very important. Learn. Most important is to learn. Imam Hussein always, always tells us to learn and study about everything that we need to, we need to know. Alhamdulillah wa shukur. We have many um, in our society today who have, have graduated from their universities and become lecture, lecturers, become um, doctors and architects. And we have a lot of, uh, of stuff going on. But even those people who have already made it, they need to show their love and support to the youngers. Um, by saying that is by making get great attention. Maybe sitting down in a lecture is nowadays, unfortunately, very boring for some of the kids that are raised in the West. But you can, you can gap to capture their attention in different ways, in different activities. Take them on a trip or something and show them um, the ways of Imam Hussein practically. Um, rather than using all theory methods. Um, also, a lot of more um, theory, uh, ways that you can do is make a trip to Karbala, let them see in their own eyes this service and the beauty of this visit to Karbala. And um, inshallah, with Allah's tawfiq, then we all can be, can be servants under one flag, inshallah. Today I experienced something amazing. There was this young kid who um, was giving out water to the servants of Imam Hussein, and I asked, why do you do this? And he replies to me, he says, uh, my father, before he passed away, he, he taught me that serving Imam Hussein is the only thing that will bring to our house. And to be honest, this is something very beautiful, and something to of course is a, a kid on that age, instead of working and these times where it's the busy season, where everyone works and makes their living, instead of that, he's out there serving the servants of Imam Hussein, providing them with water um, as, they, as they enter Karbala. And, um, and, and, and it's, it's just, it shows how important the service is for Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein gave everything that he can for us. Life, 
He gave it for us. His children, his family, the orphans that he was responsible over. He gave them all for the sake of Islam, for, sake, for the sake of our own future. <clears throat> and um, also, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Imam Hussein TV 3. Uh, Imam Hussein, Imam Hussein 3 TV. And um, any of your suggestions, you could tweet us. Any questions, anything that you think um, we can provide for you. And inshallah, we will be on your service, inshallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, you can join me um, every single day at 11 o'clock local Karbala time. Um, and I, told, I will be at your service, inshallah. A small poem before um, I go. Um, this is a poem about Karbala by my brother Nuri Sardar. Um, and inshallah, I can serve you with this. Before the eyes look upon you. Of you the mind dreams before drawn on the eyes, the heart, your land fainted deems a land well of worth more than gold in your wind. It's streams perched against the harsh desert sun. Hussein's dome, it gleams. You exist, you reply. Karbala exist before you reply. You are Karbala upon. Your sand has spilt up blood for a thousand years. Tyranny on your horizon. With each age it appears, yet he who inhales your dust away melts his fears. The courage. Of his forefathers in his blood appears, and your name becomes his own cry. You are Karbala, you are Karbala.